Hey, this is John Carlos, and I am very excited to review for you the ED209 by NECA, or as I like to call them, ED. Now, uh, one of the things I like about this just from the get-go is the packaging has some really nice artwork on it. Sometimes in the past, like with the spider gremlin, they just have like a photograph, or so just some sort of basic graphic artwork, but this has some really nice artwork, and I like the use of the OCP logo uh, on the packaging. There it is. It's got some wires attached, so I'm going to have to cut all these wires off, and then we'll get to the actual review. Right off the bat, I have one little complaint. These little twist ties went around the legs and the arms of the uh, figure, and they went around the front of the gun arms, and this wire was already detached when I opened the figure, and I'm just kind of bummed that that wire is broken. I wish that the uh, twist ties didn't already cause damage on the figure. Now, articulation on this thing is pretty damn strong. you got these flaps that lift up on the side here along with a uh, arm rotation it goes up and down you also got these that rotate side to side uh, on top of that you've got a swivel here get a better look at it from underneath and it uh, does rotate at the leg up and down lastly the legs themselves extend so that's pretty cool now overall the figures got you know, really good paint, but I want to show you guys close up of just how detailed some of this paint is. You got these little tiny warning signs on the insides of his leg. Um, but we'll just move up along his leg to all these little, like, stickery paint details. Um, I love the, uh, the kind of dirty yak, the tech yak, and the, the kind of dirty coloration of it all. As long, uh, along with the wiring, but uh, all the little like labels and stuff are really, really cool. Take you around to this side. Here's just like the basic painting on here, but uh, again, there's like the dirty tech stuff, and then right underneath the edge, you got more warning signs. Another look down the leg, more of the same like the yellow and black. Again, I like the wiring and I like the uh, the kind of darkness and the kind of grime that they used inside those joints. An area that I also like is right back here. You can see the top section of his head. The only thing I noticed is uh, right here the uh, black and silver there is painted but on this section of the leg this little section forgot to be painted but all the little rivets that go along the uh, flaps and legs are all really good looking now if you reach to the back of this figure and pull this tab out push that button you get sounds from the movie. Now I'm just going to extend his legs up. And here he is in scale with the NECA Robocop figure. And I gotta admit, these two figures look really good next to each other. I picked this up at Corner Store Comics, and I am really glad that I did, because I think Robocop is one of the best goddamn movies ever made, and I think this is a really great piece. NECA really outdid themselves this time, and I'm really happy it's in my collection. It's got really solid paint and really good sculpt. I think NECA did an outstanding job on the sculpting with this figure. And when you add the sound effects, which, you know, I don't really need, but I think they actually did turn out really good, uh, coupled with really strong articulation, this is a really 
good looking figure. It's going to look really good on your shelf if you're into RoboCop. I'm really happy with it. Thanks for watching.